Hey everyone, it's Nikki Rowley, CEO and founder of Luxurious Web Design and the instructor of the online e-commerce business, Master Course. Have you ever had an idea or an item or a service and thought, why not sell this online? Or why not have an online business? This could be for me, right? Or if you've just wanted to learn what it takes to run an online business, even before you've identified what it is that you're wanting to sell, this course would be perfect for you. The first thing that we'll do is an overview of exactly what e-commerce is. This will be coupled with identifying the types of online businesses and which one may be right for you. This will also include picking a business name and identifying good branding. Next are legal and law processes. Now there is the misconception and that is that if you have an online business, there is nothing that you have to do from a legal perspective and this is not true. You A, have to be compliant with your local and federal laws, and then B, you do want to make sure that you and your business are protected. We will do an overview of trademarks and copyrights and patents. Next is financial management, understanding your revenues and your expenditures and profit margins. From there, we'll do a deeper dive into selling physical products looking at creating your products and how this feeds into your supply chain and inventory management. We'll do an overview of shipping and we'll get into drop shipping. Now with drop shipping, even though you're not creating your products, you still should understand the process because your name is on the business and these products are going to your customers. Following is selling virtual products. Now, for a lot of people, they'll look at virtual products and identify these as passive income, but if you take a too passive approach, you may find that you're not as active as you need to be in your marketing, and therefore you may not be getting as many sales as you'd like. And then last, we'll be looking at services. Now, for services, there is a lot of flexibility, and that's because you can leverage differentiating types of technologies and approaches to get the service to the customer. You can have fixed pricing on packages. You could look at sending out quotations. You could do video chats or over the phone consultation. It's totally up to you, but it is important that you have two things. One is that you are reputable and you're speaking on behalf of what you know and you have a good background or at least some type of experience in it. And then two is very clear to the customer the process that they should go through in order to get the service. Now, in this course, we do go over what it takes to get your website online, but we start with our business processes first. Quite often, you'll find that when we think about online e-commerce business, we'll focus on the website, but your processes should be feeding into your website. You could have a beautiful website with products listed and services that are inside of packages, but if you don't pay attention to your processes, you may not be getting the sales and the leads that you need because the attention should not necessarily be on the website as much in certain areas. It should be on defining that process and really making sure that it's flushed out in a way to where your website is serving as a tool that supports the business, not necessarily serving as a tool that runs the business. Thank you guys so much for watching this introductory content. I can't wait to see you guys inside of the online e-commerce business master course.